This story is Peanut and Fifi Have a Ball. And it is by Randall DeSave and illustrations by Paul Schmid. Let's take a look and see what happens in this story. Oh, Peanut had a ball. It was brand new. It was bright blue and it was special. Fifi wanted to play with it, so she tried grabbing. Fifi's going to take his ball. But that didn't work well, so she tried politeness. Please! But Peanut didn't want to share. His ball was new and it was special. He doesn't want to share. Still, Fifi wanted to play with it. Basketball? But Peanut just hugged her ball tighter. Still, Fifi wanted to play with it, so she made the ball a hat. It has flowers and a live bird on top. My ball doesn't need a hat, Peanut said. Still, Fifi wouldn't give up. She put on a sparkly cape and glued a silver star to her forehead. Where is my crystal ball? She asked in a funny voice. Not here, said Peanut. Fifi came back wearing a chef's hat. Dole, it's bread dough and we're bakers and we've got to knead it and pound it and push it. Not dough, Peanut replied, just a ball. But Fifi thought more of it than that, so she sent the ball a note. Dear ball, wanna play? A note came back, so Fifi went away. The note says, no, I don't want to play. I don't want to share my ball. But when she returned with a seal, his name is Bob. We can teach him tricks and join the circus and travel all over the world. And look, I packed our bags. We have a change of clothes and pajamas and our toothbrushes and sandwiches and a book for you and a book for me and lots of fish for Bob. I don't think it's gonna work. There's the seal. Peanut still has her ball. Okay, says Peanut. No thanks, said Fifi. That's weird. She was on to something new, something blue, and having a ball. And that's the end of the story. Bye-bye, Peanut and Fifi. See you next time.